Hello, this is James Harvey, the professor of music theory at the College of Southern Nevada with 5-Minute Music Theory. Let's begin that 5-minute timer and we're going to dig into the tricky concept of the minor scale. First, I have up on the screen here a major scale, the one that we've been using to refer to the major scale up till this point, the F major scale. F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F. And the way I've written it on the screen, you can see the two groups of half steps. Remember, the whole ma the uh, major scale is whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. So there's two sets of half steps, and you can see them here and here. And I used the um, most universal symbol to indicate half steps, which is called a tent marking above those. And those are the half steps here and here. Also, you notice that I put numbers over each one of the members of the scale that have a little caret above it. When I say caret, it's not like a um, uh, vegetable. It's C-A-R-A-T, caret. And these are used to depict what are known as scale degrees. So the scale degrees are members of a scale. And the way you indicate a scale degree is by putting that little mark above it. So the fourth scale degree in F major is a B flat. Um, in it's really important that we understand this term because I'm going to use the term scale degrees to refer to a lot of things, but it's just the member of a scale. The concept is, is really quite simple. And the way that we indicate that something's a member of a scale is that we put the little uh, caret symbol over it. Now the minor scale, there are three different types of minor. And we're going to start by talking about the natural minor scale. Natural. So the natural minor scale is minor in its natural form. Now the tricky thing is that very few pieces of music are based on the natural minor scale because of the absence of the leading tone. The natural minor scale doesn't have a leading tone, so it doesn't really have a place in tonal music. So we have to make adjustments to that scale, which are two other types of minor. But first let's talk about this natural minor, and let's use the same clef. And we're going to show it first in its relation to major, because major and minor are very closely related to each other, believe it or not. If I take the sixth scale degree of a major scale and start a scale with that pitch and use the same group of notes, we get a minor scale. So I took a D. Um, the sixth scale degree in F major is D. So I'm going to start with D, and I'm going to write the exact same pattern of notes as we did with the F major scale except this time starting on D. There we go. We have here what is known as a D minor scale, a D natural minor more specifically, because that's its natural form. We don't have, haven't made any adjustments to it. Notice the half steps in minor are in a different place than they were in major. Here it's between 2 and 3, and then here's 4, and then 5 and 6 are a half step, 7, and then one. So let's hear the difference between these. First, the F major scale, which is what's on top. I'll start with an F3. That's the F major scale. So it's all naturals except for that B flat. Now if I start the scale on a D instead, but still play the same group of notes or the same collection of pitches, all naturals in a B flat, we get a D minor scale, D natural minor specifically. You can kind of hear the darkness of that scale versus the brightness of the F major scale. So these two scales, major and minor, are very closely related to each other. Now remember, again, this is the natural minor, and it's the one that's not used very often because it doesn't have a leading tone. Remember, the leading tone is a half step away from the first scale degree. So here's the leading tone here in major, leading tone. Notice that 7 and 1 in the natural minor are a whole step away from each other. So in order to create a leading tone, we need to make an adjustment and hence the different types of minor, which we'll cover in the next video. Thank you.